Hello friends, how are you? In this video, we'll talk about the Wilkinson sign rank test for a matched pair experiment. Let there be n paired observations of the form AI and BI and the difference is DI is equal to AI minus BI. So for two-tailed test, null hypothesis, no difference in the distribution of A's and B's and alternative hypothesis, the difference exists in the distribution of the A's and the B's. In one-tailed test, null hypothesis, no difference in the distribution of the A's and the B's and alternative hypothesis, the population relative frequency distribution for the A's is shifted to the right for right-tailed or left for left-tailed of that for the B's. The steps of the Wilkinson sign rank test are as follows. Step 1. State the hypothesis and the calculate the difference di is equal to ai minus bi. If di is equal to 0, then eliminate the pairs. Number of pairs is reduced accordingly. Step 2. Rank the absolute values of the differences. If two or more absolute differences are tied for the same rank, then the average of the ranks that would have been assigned to each member of the tied group. Step 3. Calculate the sum of the ranks for the negative differences Ti and the rank of the positive differences T plus. Step 4. Calculate Ts is equal to mean of T plus and T minus only for two-tail test. Step 5. The decision for two-tail test if Ts is less than or equal to critical value. So the critical value is or table value is T alpha by 2 comma n then reject the null hypothesis. For right tail test. The distribution of the A's is shifted to the right of that of the B's. We use the rank T minus of the negative differences and we reject the null hypothesis if T minus is less than or equal to T alpha comma N. Now for left tail test, to detect a shift of the distribution of the B's to the right of the A's, we use the rank sum T plus of the positive differences as a test statistic and we reject the null hypothesis that is T plus is less than or equal to T alpha comma n. Note that under the null hypothesis, if the number of data pair n is less than or equal to 20, then for test statistics use the table. If n is more than 20, then Ts will follow the normal distribution. Now example, following table displays the marks of two subjects of the student. So the two marks are there mathematics and English test whether the population distribution for the maths and the English are identical. Now solution, the null hypothesis is the population distribution of the math and English marks are identical and already hypothesis that two population distributions are not the ident ident are not the same. Now first of all we have to see this particular table. So total 14 students are there. These are the maths marks, these are the English marks. And the difference 20 minus 40, it is minus 20. 18 minus 25, it is minus 7. Similarly, 26 minus 21, it is 5. Okay, 15 minus 32, it is minus 17, and so on. And we have to rank this particular data. Irrespective of the sign, we just rank this data, rank these differences. So the minimum value is 2. So that's why it is rank 1. Next value is 3, rank 2. Next. Next value is 5, then rank 3. Okay, minus 7, 2 minus 7 are there, hence it is matched pair. So minus 4.5 and 4.5. And you just see one thing. Here in, we just put, you just identify the rank based on the magnitude of this. But we just copy the sign. If it is, if it is minus negative, hence it, the rank is minus, minus 13. Hence it is 5, it is positive, hence, is, hence the rank should also be the positive number and here it is negative, so hence the rank is also negative number. So these are the differences based on the magnitude value, identify the rank and based on the difference, sign of the difference, we just put the sign of the ranks also. So first calculate the difference between the pairs, so these are the difference and ranks irrespective of the sign, these are the ranks and assign sign of the each rank from the step one. So you have to assign the ranks based on this particular data, sign of this one. Now T plus. So first of all, we have to add all the positive sign rank. So we can see here, 
the positive signs ranks are so this one this one and this one 3 plus 2 plus 1 and rest are the negative sign rank so the t plus is what 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 6 and the rest are the negative sign ranked so t minus is that addition of the rest of the values that is 98 uh, 99 and ts is what since it is a two tail test so ts is equal to what minimum of t plus and t minus so the answer is 6 and the table value is what the uh, the level of significant assume it is 5 percent and total number of pair it is 14 so the table value is 22 so we can see the table so we can see the table here total number of pair 14 and the level of significant is 5 5% uh, uh, by 2 that is 0 0.05 by 2 that is 0 0.025 the table value is 22 and so the table value is 22 and the degree of freedom is 14 and the significance level is 0 0.05 since the calculated value is less than that uh, the table value hence reject the null hypothesis okay Note that for the large PR data, say more than 25, TS may be approximated by the normal variable. These are the R implementation. Okay, so this is the X data and this is the Y data. And we have to call this particular function and we can get the values. Since the P value is less than the significance level, hence reject the null hypothesis. Now it is another example. Now clinical data verifying the usefulness of two drugs T1 and D2 for treating a disease were collected from seven different hospitals. The data are given as follows. So these are the data. Do the data identical or difference in the recovery rates for the two drugs? Now this is the difference. This is the table where this is the CD1 and this is the CD2 and the difference 69 minus 59 it is 10. 68 minus 66 it is 2 78 minus 56 it is 28 similarly 47 minus 87 it is minus 40 and uh, we can based on this particular difference identify the ranks so minimum value is 2 rank 1 next value is 10 rank 2 next value is 12 rank 3 next value is 14 rank 4 and so on and the only negative difference is what minus 40 there that's why it is a minus 1 and the rest are positive so the null hypothesis, no difference in the distribution of the CD1s and the CD2s in the, is present. And alternative hypothesis, difference in the distribution of the CD1s and the CD2 is present. So the positive ranks, addition of positive rank it is 21 and the negative it is 7. So the minimum value is what? It is 7. And the table value is what? Level of significance is 0.5%. So the table value is what? 0 0.05 by 2.7. So you can see here, so the number of pairs it is 7 and alpha by 2 that is it is 0 0.025 the table value is 3. So the table value is 3 uh, since okay as we know that for the two tail test if TS is less than or equal to critical value then reject the null hypothesis since the TS is more than the table value hence do not reject the null hypothesis. The data indicates no difference in the recovery rates for the two drugs. And that is the end of this particular video. Thank you very much. In the next video, we will talk about the Mann-Whitney U-Test for the independent random samples.